What's up guys, this is Tom and on today's video we're going to be talking about the gospel where Jesus calls out the Pharisees for being hypocrites and how we sometimes are hypocrites and what the real key is to having an authentic relationship with Jesus Christ. Check it out. Welcome guys to Church Vid TV where it's all about helping you live life abundantly by being a disciple of Jesus Christ. I make videos to help people who feel alone in their faith know that they're not alone, that the rest of us are just as messed up, weird, and lost as they are. And the good news is we have a God who loves us just the way we are, but also loves us too much to let us stay that way. So this Sunday, Jesus calls out the Pharisees as hypocrites. The Pharisees think that what it means to be in a relationship with God means just going through the motions. It means going to church, sending your kids to Catholic school, putting money in the basket, making sure your kids receive their first communion and their confirmation. And Jesus calls them out and he says, if you want to be in a real relationship with God, it's not about what you do on the outside. How many of us know Christians that do a lot of stuff on the outside, but are really ugly on the inside? For me, I look in the mirror and I think, wow, I do a lot of stuff on the outside that looks good, but how broken and ugly am I on the inside? So what's important about Jesus calling them hypocrites is that being hypocritical is the number one way to sabotage a real relationship. When I think about the readings, I think I'm a hypocrite. I find myself a lot of times thinking, if you really knew me, you wouldn't love me. Have you ever thought that? Have you ever thought about your coworkers? If you really knew me, have you ever thought about your friends or about your spouse or even about your children? If you really knew me, how much time do we spend putting stuff on the outside to make people think that they know us? But in reality, we're just putting on a front because we're afraid if you really knew me, you wouldn't love me. And so today I think Jesus is calling out each and every one of us to say, Look, if you want to be in a relationship, then stop pretending what's on the outside is what's really going on on the inside. And I think we need to hear Jesus say this. I love you. I know you're broken on the inside. I know you have all this garbage that you walk around with, but I love you. You're a mess, but you're my mess. And I want to help fill you up. See, when Jesus says it's what's on the inside that defiles, the other half of that is that what's ever on the inside can lift up a person. What's on the inside can transform the ugliness. This is the invitation at the heart of the gospel this weekend. We're all longing to be known and to be loved. And Jesus says the way to do that is to put off those things that we put on the outside and we share with others to come before him and say, I am broken and I am messed up and I need your help. And so my brothers and sisters, I wanna challenge you this Sunday for one moment in one area in your life for the first time to just be honest with God. And when you do that, God will come into your life. If you're open and honest with God and saying, God, I'm not perfect and you are open to listening to him in the scriptures. He will show you where he has spoken into the lives of other people and he has raised them up. He will show you where he has transformed the worst person in the world. He has transformed the prostitute, the persecutor, the doubtful, the scared, the proud. He has transformed the angry. When we read about God in scripture, we see how he takes people from hypocrites to holiness. My brothers and sisters, my prayer for all of us, and me especially, is that this week we would, we would acknowledge how hypocritical we are in our lives. That we would acknowledge how each and every one of us hides behind what we put on the outside. And that each and every one of us would come before the Lord and ask for Him to come into us in order to transform our lives from hypocrites to holiness. God bless.
Thanks a lot so much for checking out this video. I would encourage you to go ahead and hit subscribe if you enjoyed it, but also consider visiting my Patreon page to help support what I'm trying to do here. And that is to share the word of God with people who would maybe would never set foot in a church. For people who have been hurt by the church, for people who, who hate and don't agree with the church, I'm on a mission to speak out to them because I've been hurt by the church. Because I know that the only answer to the deepest questions that each and every one of us faces is a relationship with the person, Jesus Christ. So I would love for you to support this mission by visiting the Patreon page. I greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you later. Peace.